Just to uh, remind the Gambian public that the electorate, that here we have, have the National Assembly elections on the 9th of April 2022. Of course, it will be in the Ramadan. I know most people will be fasting at that time. Um, the Muslim would be doing their, their, their Ramadan, and the Christians will be also doing the Lent. So I think at this time, most governments will be fasting, huh? but we only urge them as is, this is their civic duty that they have to vote and they have to make the decisions as who they want to uh, they want to represent them in the nas national assembly in the parliament. So it's important that let people once again let them come en masse. The Gambia recorded one of the highest um, turnouts, voter turnouts uh, so far with almost 90 percent i think uh, almost 85 percent people uh, 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 turned out was registered many people came out and participated in the process and we uh, urge and encourage uh, gambians once again to maintain that momentum so that by uh, the election day on 9th april gambians come en masse and vote even though we know this is time for Ramadan and this is time for Lent. But uh, we urge people to come out early, uh, cast their vote, and then go back to their houses or continue doing their various uh, works. And again, uh, to urge people to maintain the spirit, the peace, the tranquility that Gambia is known for, that elections comes and goes but then Gambia stays and the people stays. So it's important people to be aware of this fact. Election is a, a game of choice. So you only have to choose for any person that you are comfortable with to represent you in the National Assembly. So we do it this peacefully and we also do it in a responsible manner. And also we do it as Gambians, you know, people who love this country, to come out peacefully, vote peacefully, and then go back and listen to the results and then support the candidate whoever wants. So I think this has to be made very clear. And then that uh, this is an election. Election is a game of many. Uh, many are called, but few are chosen. And also as a commission, we try to do it in the most transparent manner so that all the stakeholders, the political parties, the, the agents will be present in there to observe the process for their parties. Also, the media will be present to, to uh, monitor the process uh, for the public. We also have the observers to monitor the process uh, for their various organizations. So just to say that it is a very transparent process. And then uh, once somebody is declared the winner, uh, I think we all have to accept that you know, this is the people's choice. That's the people's will. So we have to uh, mature as a democracy. And we have to mature as a people, uh, you know, as a country that elections are done peacefully, and then we listen to the people. The people has the power. Power belongs to the people. They are the sovereign. And whoever they choose to represent them, I think we all have to concur with that. Because that's the people's choice. That's the choice of the majority. The majority rules in democracy. So even though somebody uh, doesn't feel happy about that, but then we have to appreciate that democracy is all about numbers. The, uh, the majority uh, always calls this up. And if the people uh, elect, the majority elect somebody, we, all that we can do is uh, to support the person, you know, to contribute his or her quota in the Gambia's development. Democracy. Democracy for you and me.